Network. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Coming up, another installment of the NFL International Series, and it should be a great one, as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Tennessee Titans. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone, and he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. Here's the fourth-year man, J.K. Dobbins. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews, and he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. I have to imagine many a defensive coordinator's had a sleepless night trying to game plan ways to slow down Lamar Jackson. What do you think is the most effective way to try to do it? Well, you've got to be a little counterintuitive because normally you're sitting on the wide receiver one, aren't you? But with Lamar Jackson, I'd sit on the tight end. He loves to throw into the middle of the field, loves that position as his number one target. Take that away and hope you have a corner who can stand up man-to-man -man against a speed guy in the perimeter. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain. Did it to perfection. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return, and it'll be Titan football. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 26. The NFL's second leading rusher in 2022. Here's Derrick Henry. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. From the 32-yard line now, here's a second and four. Now Tannehill. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And uh, who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Now Tannehill. And that is incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. Now on fourth down, here's Ryan Stonehouse to punt for Tennessee. This is taken at the 18. A 48-yard punt, seven on the return. And the Ravens will take over. Baltimore is set to take over here for their second possession of the game. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. And it may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. Let's see if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. A really good pickup of 28 yards. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. On first and 10, it's Dobbins. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. 
Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. From the gun, it's Jackson. He's got his man. It's Andrews. And Andrews going to have a Ravens first down as he'll get this down to the 36. A busy first quarter. His third catch of the afternoon is a first down. Partner, you know when we call a game, we talk about Lamar Jackson and his speed and his elusiveness and the ability to get him on the ground, how tough that is for a defense. But how about his development as a thrower, as a professional? An option handoff here to Dobbins. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. That was a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. Now Jackson on second down. Looking for Bateman, he's got him complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 16. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole <laughs> lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. Dobbins going to take the handoff on the option. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they, moving the ball? Maybe the first drive was a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, okay, let's not let that happen here as we take over again. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. Now, hang on, we got an injured player down there. Oh, boy, that's Odell Beckham Jr., OBJ, who's hurting. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Second and goal from the sixth this time. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. They go play action now. Jackson. And that'll be taken in by Andrews for a Ravens touchdown. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Ravens are on the board first here this afternoon. This is why a lot of play callers love play action. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed. And I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. Justin Tucker for the extra point. And the Ravens lead it now to kick it away following the touchdown and no effort to bring this one out it's a touchback the Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive and a three and out on that first drive we'll see if they can do better here they should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now that first series everybody goes out a little extra emotion 
So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves just that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's Tannehill. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection. Maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you're wondering, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. A sizable 16-yard chunk there. The drive continues. Obviously an important run to avoid the three and out on your own side of the field. Shows a lot of faith in that offensive unit, doesn't it? That you want to run the ball in that situation, pick up the first down. Also helps out your defensive guys a little bit, too. Allows them to get at least one more series of downs in order to get some rest. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Tannehill now to throw. This will go to Henry out wide. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. A gain of eight there on the play. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. But he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Tannehill's bats taken in by a Conqueror. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now, Titans in possession of the football. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Gets it out wide quickly, Burks with it. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, Henry. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10-yard line. 40 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at them and right up the middle. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. 
On second down, here's Henry. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down. And it's a Titans touchdown. It's trailing Burks from Ryan Tannehill. And the Titans are an extra point away from evening this one up. Certainly there are good things about quick strike offenses that score fast, but a long drive can also work to your advantage as well. In so many ways, Brandon, because number one, you get them tired, but the big one is mentally. They can't figure out how to slow you down, how to get off the field, how to get the ball back. They go to the bench wondering, what are we going to do next time in order to stop those guys? So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Call it a gain of three on the play, and that will bring up second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here, and what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. On second down, a run with Dobbins. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play, backwards a yard. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. On third down, Jackson. And he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of the first. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. Nice call on defense, rolling out the nickel package for that big third down play, and they did an excellent job locking down coverage and forcing him to try and run for it, and he doesn't get there, which brings up a big fourth down call. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first and ten as they take over. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and ten at their own 27. They'll try and start this drive in the air. On the slant complete to Hopkins. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they've put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. A first down carry for Henry. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. 63 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. It may sound cliche, but those are the types of yards he can get you. He's such a bruising back. He is, and typically with that type of a back, if he has any type of stamina, it shows up later in the ball game. Because trust me, guys get tired of running up and trying to tackle that big fella. It wears on him, and then he gets stronger as the game goes on. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Here's Tannehill. He finds his man complete. That's Phillips. 
They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. So they still get the completion even though the blitz was on. But the blitz got there. Does that stay in the mind of the quarterback the next couple plays? That's what you're hoping for. That's what you're planning for. It's a little risk-reward, right? You're leaving your guys on an island back there in man coverage. But you take the chance that you get to the quarterback, and so he gets completion here. Congratulations. Keep coming at him, and hopefully it pays off by the end of the game that you're starting to get to him while still able to cover on the back end. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. Too long for a field goal. Too short to punt that in-between range, and they'll go for it on fourth down. They snap it to Tannehill. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Kyle Hamilton picks it, and he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. After the interception, here's Jackson. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. That one goes for 24 yards. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Now it's Jackson. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. Isaiah Likely, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens have taken the lead. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Tucker with the extra point, And that makes the score 14 to 7. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. On first down, it's Tannehill. A short throw taken in by Conquo. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. 
Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Easy to tell who they're targeting on this drive. He caught the first two passes, but then this time unable to hook up. But I don't think that that stops them from continuing to go back to him, do you? No. I mean, they've got a, they've got a plan. They're trying to execute it. And after that second catch, I saw him in the huddle. He said, hey, let's go back <laughs> one more time. Didn't work there. And Tannehill's got the first as he slides to a halt. Tannehill able to take off and pick up the first as well. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out, but his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. Now a first down throw, Tannehill. And this complete to Henry over the middle. So five yards here, five on the play, and that'll bring up second down. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Back to throw, Tannehill. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. It'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack. And it's third down. And another long drive from the offense, but the defense is denying them the end zone. Nothing to show for the last drive offensively. They can't come away empty-handed again. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And the Ravens are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. Meanwhile, Jackson's throw complete there to Beckham. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. On second down, here's Jackson. Pass on the crossing route is complete. This is Andrews. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Again, Jackson. Complete to likely. And he will have a first down here as they get into field goal range as well, down at the 17-yard line. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, this from 34. Tucker's kick is good, and they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. Well, they already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up.
So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. Julius Chestnut now on the return. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Ravens out in front. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida and check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Out come the Titans now. They'll have it first on offense to start the third. And they trail here to begin the second half. What's going to be a key for them to get back in the game? I think they're right there, and I think this game is still up for the taking for them because we always talk about turnovers. They had two of them in the first half, and once you start talking about if you have three, four, or five, you know it's beyond difficult to try and win a football game with that. Those have to be eliminated. If they take care of the ball, they've still got a shot. 73 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Stiff armed him. And he'll be taken down at the 46 yard line. Tennessee getting the first down on a big play of 18 yards. He had a really solid first half running the football and picking up where he left off here in the third quarter. How about the yardage he's piling up right now? This feels like a full game, not just this series that we're watching right now. I know people are screaming, where are the adjustments from halftime on the defensive side of the ball? Sometimes they're just not there. Sometimes you just have to find a way to tackle someone. And across midfield, he goes into Raven territory. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him, so when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. Again, it's Henry. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Now a pause, and there's an injured Raven in need of some assistance. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. In motion right, that's Burks. Now they'll fake the jet sweep and run up the middle with Henry. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Jadavian Clowney there on the stop. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Kyle Hamilton in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Safety blitz, such a fun play call to witness when it works. And the deep man can get home for a sack. Great timing by him. Interception earlier in this contest. Now a sack. He's definitely campaigning for player of the week honors, isn't he, partner? Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he'll kick it away for the second time. That one sails out of bounds. The side judge will walk it off. 
And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. Jackson. Well, that's complete to the fullback, Ricard. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Good sure hands there from a guy not accustomed to catching a whole lot of passes. But how about the way he was able to pull that one in and pick up good yardage? On first and 10, it's Jackson. And this is going to be hauled in by the tight end, Andrews. 23 yards, the final tally. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Oh, nice move. <laughs> And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. 49 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. And now Jackson will look to throw it. And they're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. Well, sometimes when you try to defend OBJ, you're going to get a P.I. call. You might get a P.I. called at just about any point during his route. And I think a lot of teams have taken the, the whole philosophy of, hey, just go ahead and do what you have to do and hope eventually they'll quit calling it. But not in this case. They dropped the flag for the pass interference. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they're able to just roam and hit. And they're going option play on third down. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, so they didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. From the gun, Jackson. Flush to his right. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson taking it in from 14 yards out. And the Ravens go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Tucker now for the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17.
Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Out come the Titans now. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Derrick Henry all alone. He's on his way. Touchdown, Titans. Derrick Henry. 76 yards and the Titans are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third he's been having a great game and that one right there his best run so far and it ends with six points and not only that in his mind what is he thinking can I get to 200 yards as well because he knows he's closing in on it he may not know the exact number but the best runners have a feel of what the yardage is that they're compiling, and he knows that he's getting close to that 200-yard mark now. So then after the made field goal, Shudak back out to kick it away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Here comes the Raven offense now ready for another possession. This now a 10-point game, so things tightening a little bit after that last score. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 23. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Jackson, options out left. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Calling no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. The offense on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and 10. Now Jackson. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Oh, I thought he had that one. And that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. The Ravens send their punter out now as he'll come on to kick this one away. Fielded at about the 28. Call that a 46-yard punt, though they did get nine back on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Tennessee offense set to go again. Well, still a long way to go, but trending upward. They scored the last time out, you remember. Then their defense forced the punt. Now they try to inch closer, but still ultimately down two scores in the final quarter. On first down, Tannehill. 
And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Tannehill now to throw. This ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. From the gun on third down, Tannehill. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception. But playing this way is what got him this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he's on to punt for Tennessee. And this will be taken at the 13. It'll be a 47-yard punt with a net of 40 following a seven-yard return. And they will take over first and 10. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people are worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Now Dobbins again on second down, and the defense closes quickly there. He'll get maybe a yard to the 33. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Got an extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. Here's Jackson to throw. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Well, no one likes to see that drop, but I'll guarantee it's not going to stop his quarterback from going back to him anytime he has open space. The Ravens send their punter out now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. On first and 10, Tannehill. He finds Hopkins complete. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Ball on the 27. Here's second and four. Now it's Tannehill. A short throw taken in by Conquo. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. 
And Tannehill with a play fake to Henry. He'll throw instead. And oh, he almost had his second pick of the game. Probably should have. Yeah, he's frustrated as it falls incomplete. Oh, this defense knows. Fourth quarter, they need to make a play. That one was ripe for the taking. Could have changed the complexion of the ball game, but it winds up incomplete. To the air again, Tannehill. He finds his man complete. It's Phillips. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Tannehill on third down. That's caught. Left side, it's Burks. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. On first down, it's Tannehill. And this is going to be incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Tannehill. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Throwing again is Tannehill. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Trenton Simpson, well, he just flew in there to drop him. Even keeping the back end for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Open man is Burks, and he's got him. And he is going to pick up the Titans first down, and he'll have it by plenty as it turns out to be a big gainer there on fourth down. Listen, when you're at this point of the game, all options are on the table. Fourth down, they say, we've got to go for it. And what a play they come up with. Big yardage there to keep the drive alive. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. I like how he hung in there and went through his progressions, but eventually his internal clock went off and told him it was time to make a run for it, and he ends up sliding down with a solid gain. And they're going to speed things up here. Tannehill. It's complete, Burks. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. 63 yards receiving for him now, and that last catch good enough for a first down. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game, but I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. And he will score! Touchdown, Titans! Ryan Tannehill taking it in from four yards out. And the Titans have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. It doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly.
So here's Shudak following the touchdown back out to kick off. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Ravens offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all of their timeouts, so we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you've got another thing coming. Yeah, I and mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Now it's Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. And Andrews going to have a Ravens first down as the tackle going to be made up at the 37. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. Couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. On the option right is Jackson. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. A give up the middle to Dobbins. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Oh, and they sent the man in motion too late. This is going to be a delay. Now, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Time to get a delay of game penalty there. Not that there's a good time, but that makes it third and six. Now Jackson... And incomplete. They tried to drop it off, but he couldn't hold on. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Tucker's kick is good. And that will double their lead as it's up to six. 
So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden they're down. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. And this taken in at the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25 yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So now Tannehill and the Titans down 27 21 a little over 50 seconds remaining. How will this thing pan out. We'll watch as they come up on first down. Now Tannehill, and it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw's made. Where's the catch? Got to catch in that spot. Here's Tannehill. Got his man, a Conquo. Look at the big man rumble. And finally brought down at the 31-yard line. Ah, oh, what a play. Now get to the ball quickly. Got to be ready with another play or get up and spike it. Now this offense cannot stop the clock now. No timeouts remaining as they come up here first down. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw down field, incomplete. Some coaches like to take the shorter, more reliable yardage, and some, they like to go for the big shot. No fear in risking a deep ball there, but wasn't enough to get them the completion. Another try, second and 10 now. Tannehill. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Throwing Tannehill. This for all the marbles. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Oh, and this is nervous time now. They decided to go for it right there. Fortunately, still a little bit of time left for another shot, but this one almost certainly has to be in the end zone. One last throw here for Tannehill. This for all the marbles. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. One final shot. They'll look to throw. That is caught. Touchdown, and no time remains. And they're an extra point away from winning this football game. The kick is good, and can you believe this? They win it with zeros on the clock. Well, this was a game we'll have in the memory banks for a while. The winning touchdown at the end, and then they had to get that extra point. You know, the knees were shaking, but he put it through, and boom, a dramatic victory. And just remember, prior to 2015, that extra point almost felt routine, didn't it? Like it was a fait accompli. But when we moved it back to the 15, now the drama kicked in. So, yes, the touchdown, extremely important. Obviously, they had to have it. That was huge. But that was not a gimme, and he knocked it through the post.
So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say cheerio from London.